Welcome to the Irishman, Englishman and Scotsman football podcast. Ireland, Willow. I do remember when you emerged first. There was a lot of hype in the Irish media about you. And Don Givens said you could have been a future Irish captain. About the under-21s then, I think. Why do you think it didn't work out and why do you think you didn't get a cap? I think the Ireland team that I was trying to get into was a lot better than what the Irish team is now, that's for sure. Uh, 100%, um, sorry, 100%. I think uh, we had some top players. We had Robbie Kane, Shay Given, Damien Duff, Richard Dunn. We had some quality, didn't we? Whereas, no disrespect to the lads now, I don't think we're anywhere near that level. So that was one thing. Another thing was... I don't think I played enough football from 19 to 21. I probably stayed at Man City too long. I probably should have left earlier. And I think it was one of them where I was a young lad playing in the Premier League at the time and Aidan McGeady had broke in and Brian Kerr just chose to bring McGeady in and stuff like that, you know. It was one of them. It's, I, I wish I... I think I deserved one cap, if I'm being honest, but I was just... I was trying to get into a good team and I just... Didn't quite make it. And I was on standby twice. And I never quite made the squad. That's a shame. Uh, I'm sure you're, you're like myself. I'm sure you're a big Ireland fan though, Willow. What's your opinion on the current setup with, with Stephen Kenny? I thought we were played fantastic against Slovakia in the semi-final of the playoffs and lost on penalties. Which would, would have put us in the final against Northern Ireland and a chance to go to the Euros. You know, the Serbia game, uh, we lost 3-2 away. Performed okay. We, we, we were playing nice football. Passing the ball well. But yeah. we're not winning games. Would you stick with Stephen Kenny or what would you do? Me personally, I would just be patient. You know, I think he, like, I think we've got a good crop of young talent coming through when the Nathan Collins, the Adam Oiders, the, the Connollys of this world. So I just think we need to be patient and it might not happen overnight in the next one or two years, but I'm sure over the next three or four years, then I'm sure we'll see the, the good young talent that we have coming through breaking into Stephen Kenny. Like, I think we need more established Premier League footballers to kick on, to kick air country on. But I think for me, the route is deeper than that. I, like, I speak to people all the time about comparing Scottish and Irish football. And the big thing for me is over in Scotland, the best young talent in the country go to a thing called performance skills. So from 12 year old in different areas of Scotland, we have talent over here that go in full-time school, but they play football in the morning and they train in the evening. That's five, six times a week. Plus they play their games as well on the weekend. Whereas over in Ireland, the lads train three times, a uh, three times a week, which is just in the evening. And then they play a game at the weekend. We don't give them enough contact hours. And the problem is that kids nowadays don't play enough street football. In my day, it was fine because we didn't need to get coached because we played football all the time. Nowadays, we need to find a way to get performance skills back and in, get into Ireland with performance skills. Until we get that into Ireland, we're going to keep falling behind and falling behind. I went to uh, Ireland on the 16th game last year or the year before last, a victory shield, and Scotland, I'm sure Scotland beat Ireland 5 or 6 1, but it actually could have been 10. And I'm thinking, that, that's poor on our country because when I was growing up, we were better than Scotland at younger age level. That was a fact. But I think the problem is the smaller nations are catching up on us. If not, they're getting better than us. So we need to find a way. Do we bring like a Pat Fenlon or a Brian Kerr back into the FAI to, to say how we bring young players through? And I think we need to start doing it ASAP and... I know we have a lad, real doctor in the in the FAI at the moment. No disrespect to real doctor, but real doctor is from a Dutch background, and he doesn't know what it is to produce young Irish footballers. So I think we need to get some of our own back into the FAI, like a Pat Fennan or a Brian Kerr. And the sooner the better we get performance skills in, the better, you know. Yeah, Brian Kerr would be my choice, Willow. You know, I think he'd be perfect for for the job. Like, I'm from a Cherry Orchard background, so I, br I was brought up with Cherry Orchard. We played, like, we trained a few times a week, but they brought in this new thing, the League of Ireland League, and it's like 13th, 15th, and 17th, but they're training the exact same time, amount of time as they were with a Cherry Orchard or a Belvedere or a home farm, so... Plus, they have to travel the length of the country to play games. So, for me, 
I don't see what what good is that doing for Irish football. I, I've I've seen the quality of it. It's it's bad average. Like I watched St. Pat's on the fifteens one year. They played against Waterford and they beat them eight 0 That ain't good for no one. It ain't good for anyone at Waterford. It ain't good for anyone at St. Pat's. So they talk about this elite academies that they're trying to produce, but. Until we get full-time academy football in Ireland, we, we're going to be falling behind people, that's for sure. Thank you for listening. If you'd like to hear more of our podcasts, please click on the red subscribe button on the bottom right-hand side. Thank you.